Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem based on the superposition theorem contain AC circuit. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. The problem statement is use the superposition theorem to find the current I0 in the circuit zone below. We need to find the current I0 for the given network. So this is a given network. So this is a I0. We need to find the current I0 here. Having the one current source is available and one voltage source is available. Then this capacitor, this capacitor, inductor, two resistors are available. So based on the superposition theorem, the current I0 equal to I0 dash plus I0 double dash. I0 dash is current due to voltage source alone. I0 double dash is current due to current source alone. So in superposition theorem, first we need to consider only current source. We need to remove the voltage source by short circuit. Then we need to find the current I0 due to the current source alone. The second step, we need to consider only this voltage source. We need to remove this current source by open circuit. We need to find the I0 again. So the total current is I0 dash plus I0 double dash. So that is the principle of the superposition theorem. So based on that first we will find the I0 dash. That is we are going to consider only current source. We are going to remove the voltage source. Now we will go to the step 1. So step 1 is consider only 20, 20. First we are considering voltage source. Then we will go to current source. Step 1 is for current voltage source. Step 2 is the current source. Voltage source and remove the current source. Remove the current source means open circuit. So here the current source is removed and kept open. Right? Only now voltage source is available. Now we need to find current flowing through this circuit. I0. Right? So by seeing this diagram, we, are, we need to simplify this circuit in order to find the current I0. So from due to this open circuit, we, we can, by inspecting this uh, circuit, we can easily understand that these two are connected in parallel. This 8 ohm and J10 ohm inductor, these two are connected in series, not parallel, connected in series. That is parallel with this capacitor, right? So this inductor and resistor are connected in series. There is no branch here connected in series. That is parallel with this capacitor. So based on that, we can find the Z equivalent. 8 plus 10J, that is this combination, resistor and inductor, is parallel with the minus 2J, that is a capacitor, right. So, Z equivalent equal to minus J2 into 8 plus J10 divided by minus J2 plus 8 plus J10, that is R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2, that is the basic formula, right. So, after simplification, step by step, we need to simplify this. So it is multiplied inside minus j16 minus j square 20 divided by 8 plus j8, right? So is here the 8 is taken outside. This 8 is taken outside minus j2 minus j2.5. Here also 8 is taken outside, got cancelled, right? So j2 minus j square is minus 1, minus 1 into 2.5 divided by 1 plus j. So minus j2 plus 2.5. Here already one minus is there, already one negative is there. So plus 2.5 divided by 1 plus j. So for further simplification, it is multiplied and divided by 1 minus j into 1 minus j. That is complex conjugate of 1 plus j in order to bring in the simplified form. The complex conjugate of 1 plus j is 1 minus j divided by 1 minus j. is multiplied and divided by 1 minus j. Right? So it is multiplied here. We will see the uh, further simplification. Before that we will see this circuit diagram. Right? So after simplification what we got 0.25 plus minus j 2.25 that is the Z equivalent. Right? We will see this Z equivalent later. Before that we will see this diagram. Right? So this 4 ohm and minus j 2 ohm is already available. We will refer the diagram. This 4 ohm and J2 ohm already available. This entire circuit is now simplified into 0.25 ohm minus J2.25 ohm. Right now see the circuit diagram is now simplified. All are saving 
single circuit is single loop is there so current flowing through all the elements are equal because of single loop right so that the total uh, impedance z z t is nothing but sum of all these 4 minus j2 that's already available after simplification we got 0.25 minus j 2.25 right so 4 minus j plus 0.25 minus j 2.25 so the total impedance is 4.25 minus j 4.25 so both are the same real time and imaginary time here positive here negative right so this is the final impedance of the circuit now we will continue this how we are getting this 0.25 minus j 2.5 for this z equivalent that is the two parallel combination here the further simplification we will see that so that we will verify this answer so this is the final impedance so for further simplification of z equivalent minus j2 plus 2.5 plus j square 2 minus j 2.5 divided by 1 square minus j square in order to cancel this complex number we multiplied with complex conjugate multiplied and divided by complex conjugate right so that is simplified further simplified 1 minus j square is minus 1 see now it is from 1 plus 1 the complex number is now removed so that is our aim so that we multiplied and divide by the complex conjugate so after simplification we got 0.25 minus j 2.25 so this is the circuit this inter circuit is available now we verified that now the z equivalent is verified and we also got the total impedance from the circuit diagram we already discussed the total impedance now we can find the current because of single loop the current flowing through all the elements are equal so we can say i naught dash right this is our requirement this i naught dash means current due to only voltage source so j20 that is the voltage source divided by total impedance 4.25 minus j 4.25 this already we discussed right so 20 j divided by 4.2 is taken outside 1 minus j so here also in order to remove this complex it is multiplied and divided by complex conjugate 1 minus j complex conjugate is 1 plus j so multiplied and divided so the original term will not affect it so 20 divided by 4.25 is 4.7 so 4.7 this j and these are multiplied j into 1 j j into j j square Similarly here 1 minus j 1 plus j a minus b a plus b is a square minus b square a is 1 1 square b is j j square right now we can go for further simplification so 4.7 4.7 into this j is taken j plus this j square is minus 1 similarly 1 minus this j square is minus 1 so 4.7 minus 1 plus j this minus 1 plus j this 1 minus of minus 1 so it become 2 so minus 1 plus j divided by 2 so 4.7 divided by 2 is 2.353 minus 1 plus j so it is multiplied inside so i naught dash is minus 2.353 plus j 2.53 533 2.353 so this is the current due to the voltage source alone so that i naught dash now we need to consider the current source by removing the voltage source we need to find i naught double dash so the step to consider the 5 ampere current source and voltage source is removed by short circuit now here we only consider only current source so they see the diagram the equivalent diagram the current source is consider the voltage source what available here is removed and short circuit right now the equivalent circuit is available after removing the voltage source this equivalent circuit is available now we can go for the Kirchhoff's voltage law loop method right nodal loop analysis by using KVL we can apply the KVL and we can find the loop current so this is the first loop this is the first loop means closed circuit so current flowing through the first loop is I1. This is the second loop. Current flowing through the second loop is I2. This is the third loop. Current flowing is I3. So our aim is to find I2 because I naught double dash. Current due to 
current source is i i i not double dash that is nothing but i2 so only we need to find i2 i1 i2 is i1 i3 is not needed what we need is current flowing through this circuit network so i2 is needed now we can apply the kbl to the loop 1 first loop right so this is the first loop so here 8 ohm available inductor available and capacitor available this in this in this resistor only i1 is flowing in this inductor i1 as well as i3 because inductor is connected between first loop and third loop this capacitor is connected between first loop and second loop so i1 and i2 is flowing in capacitor i1 and i3 is flowing in inductor only i1 is flowing in resistor so based on that 8 into i1 plus j10 i1 minus i3 inductor connected between 1 and 3 is no minus because see the direction both are different this is flowing in this side towards left this is going towards right so both are opposite direction so i1 minus i3 similarly minus j2 i1 minus i2 this capacitor connected between the first loop and second loop so i1 minus i2 so we got this equation that is equal to 0 there is no voltage source available in the loop 1 So after simplification, step by step, we got 8 plus 8j into i1 plus j2 i2 minus j10 i3. So after simplification, we got we can take it as equation number one. Now apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law to the second loop. In this second loop, what we have this capacitor, one more capacitor, and this resistor. This resistor only i2 is flowing because it is individually available. but this capacitor connected between third loop and second loop so i2 also flowing i3 also flowing this capacitor connected between 1 and 2 so i1 also flowing i2 also flowing so based on that 4 into i2 minus plus j2 i2 minus i1 so this capacitor i2 minus i1 here loop 2 means i2 as a reference loop 1 means i1 as a reference from i1 i3 is subtracted from i1 i2 is subtracted loop 2 means from i2 i1 is subtracted for this capacitor i2 minus i3 second loop minus third loop so after simplification what we got for this this further simplification is there so j2 i1 plus 4 minus j4 i2 plus j2 i3 is a second equation right in the loop 3 the third loop third loop this 5 ampere was uh, current is available so i3 equal to 5 directly we can write i3 equal to 5 no need to write the equation if you write the equation that also you, uh, no no problem but we have the answer is there here one current source is there so current flowing through this loop is 5 ampere so that is written directly so our aim is to find the i2 value because i not double dash is i2 here the current flowing at this network so that we can do by simplifying the equation we can find the i2 value so equation 1 is written as it is it is further simplified this equation 2 is written as it is right then it is divided by 2 so that it is simplified everywhere 2 is available right from that i1 is written i1 equal to in terms of i2 right Minus two minus of two minus j two into i two minus phi i j divided by i, right? So equation one is available. Equation two is simplified, divided by two. I one is written in terms of i two, right? So further it is multiplied and divided by the j in order to go for further simplification. Multiplied and divided by j so that we can remove this j, the j by j. So it is multiplied. J square, J square value is minus one, right? So that the denominator is now removed. So this minus is multiplied inside, so that minus of mod mod uh, multiplied it is available here. So this term is multiplied, minus of minus two J plus two J square into I two minus five of minus one. Now we can go for further simplification. So it is multiplied inside and further simplified. Finally, we got I one equal to two plus J two into I two minus five. So I one is available in terms of 
i2 now we can substitute this substitute i1 in equation 1 right so now we got this value i1 value is got this i1 value is we are going to substitute in the equation number 1 what is equation number 1 this is equation number 1 8 plus j8 i1 plus j2 i2 minus j10 phi equal to 10 so in this this i1 is substituted here this value is substituted so for that we can go for further simplification we need to multiply inside step by step and we have to simplify right the step by step it is multiplied so finally what we got i2 into 34 j minus 90 j minus 40 equal to 0 right we got the simplified after simplification we got this value so that i2 equal to other terms are brought in the right hand side 90 j plus 40 divided by 34 j in order to for further simplification it is multiplied and divided by j then it is multiplied here so that 90 plus j plus 40 into j divided by 34 j square j square value is minus 1 so it become minus 34 that is the advantage to multiply and divide by j so that is further it is multiplied inside again j square minus 1 right so minus 90 plus 40 j divided by 34 right that is for now it is divided 90 divided by 34 is 2.647 40 divided by 34 is minus 1.1176 see this now we got the i2 value so that is our requirement that is current due to only the current source is i2 now we'll go for further simplification so i double dash equal to minus i2 so the direction is both is different by inspecting the diagram we can easily understand i naught double dash is going upward direction but i2 is going downward direction so that due to the negative so negative of 2.647 minus j 1.176 multiply negative inside so minus 2.647 plus already here negative is there plus j 1.176 now we got the second step current current due to current source alone now we need to find the total current right the total current is nothing but current due to current source as well as voltage source I naught equal to I naught dash plus I naught double dash. I naught dash due to voltage source. We already calculated in step 1. I naught double dash is due to current source alone. In step 2, we calculated. Both are added together. Minus 5 plus J 3.529. In a rectangular form. While converting polar form, you can convert directly using the calculator. 6.12 with an angle of 144.78 ampere. So this is the I naught value. So in this problem, we solve the superposition theorem. We've calculated the I naught value having one voltage source and one current source. In step one, we consider only voltage source, current source is removed. In step two, current source is considered and voltage source is removed and we calculated the current. So finally, we added the both the currents so that we got the final value. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.